Hi people, today I'm in Bath and I've come to show you the circus, but, uh, originally known as the uh, King Circus. So let's take a look, shall we? Yeah, so basically, these are all Georgian design houses. It was designed by John Wood, the elder. The construction began in 1754, but sadly, John Wood, the elder, died three months before the first stone was laid. So John Wood Younger finished it in 1768. These are grade one listed townhouses. Let's have a better look at the architecture, shall we? So as you can see, you got leaves, snakes, anchors, flowers, hearts. Not sure if that's a harp up there. Swords, I think that is. Horn. Max and fire bayonet. I think that is. Not 100% sure, but yeah, bow and arrow. Yeah, just look at it. And then you've got the acorns at the top of the houses as well. Lighthouse there, by the looks of it. So much detail there. And some things I don't recognise. But yeah, as you can see, I've got the little, little balcony as well. This it just seems to be every part of those stones are different designs. It's even a water wheel. It's like a crest of some sort there. A compass. Dog. like a bird of some sort on a possible bugle and yeah so much architecture there and as you can see even like underneath but yeah but yeah I thought I'd come and show you circus no, one of the most famous streets in uh, Bath, but I'm going to head to the Crescent as well, which is possibly most of you will uh, know that it's famous for filming of Bridgerton. My, uh, me, myself, I have not watched that yet so I don't know much about it so I, I will I will take you along to, so you can at least see for those who can't come along a little cannon there yeah so much everyone is so Unique and different. There's none the same that I've come across yet. No, there's also a telescope, easel.
Oh, they have come across one. Recognise the heart. There's a windmill there as well. I think that's an art. No, it could be it could be a piece of fruit, like an apple or something instead. Not sure. Let me know in the comments if you know. I said I don't know much more about this place and area, but I thought I'd show you some uh, bath rest uh, just popped here. And I'll take you on the next section. There's three sections all together, and they, as I said, they're all for a grade listed. Grade listed one. And sunshine there. It's like the pillows. But yeah, as you can see, they're all, they've all got acorns around. And what I'll do after I cut over this section, I will try and get in the middle so you can have a better look. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Let me know in the comments if you've been here before. This is the first time, and I don't live that far either. It's only half an hour on the train. Yeah, I've been to that a few times. And Never come up here. But I thought I'd come and show you. There we go. There's a plaque there. The circus architects. John Wood Senior and Junior erected 1754 to 69. Uh, oh, yeah. And this is uh, Gay Street. That leads down to the bottom of the town centre. So, yeah. Alright, let's just wait for these cars and then. Lovely lamp post there as well. That is lovely lit up. Right, it's a little bit mucky because muddy, should I say? Not mucky. Of course, it'd be mucky, it's muddy. I thought uh, i try and stand in the middle for you so you can see what it looks like all the way around. The little concrete bit there. Right, so let's start from Gay Street and then we're Hope you're enjoying this video. If you do, please like and subscribe. Right, let's end up going down to the Crescent now. Head down Brock Street. 
will end up at the Royal Crescent. So, that's Rock School. So, I'll meet you down there. Yeah, so, this is the uh, Royal Crescent. Crescent was built between 1767 and 1775 by John Wood Younger, same person who done the circus. So there's the plaque, number one Royal Crescent. These are the prices for the museum. So adults are £15.50, sessions are £13.50, and free for under 18s when, when we're a paying adult. And one adult to four children. No, we're not to pay children. So yeah, you see how big that is, the architecture. So yeah, it's... There you go. Architect John Wood Jr. erected in 1767 to 75. As you can see, that is all the Royal Crescent. And of course, number one is the biggest of the lot. So, yeah, they are Grade 1 terrorist houses in Georgian. There's number two. It's not as big as the number one, see. Apparently, this uh, Royal Crescent is 500 foot long. And as I said, this is uh, where a few places, a uh, few uh, places have been. Uh, this is where a few series and films have been uh, filmed. So you, uh, you got, of course, Bridgerton, the Netflix drama. And then you've got uh, Rumbox, which was in the 60s. Inspector Morse, Vanity Fair, The Duchess. Catch us if you can. Our girl. Those are the ones that I can find. So let's uh, have a proper walk round, shall we? I believe there are some blue plaques along here as well. Gonna see what that plaque is. Just bear with me. <laughs> now I've got different phones, so it doesn't doesn't zoom in as much as me have wondered. Let's see. 
Here lived Christopher Anstey, 1770 to 1805. I'm not sure who that was. But look, even basements, I say basements, ground floors are quite tall. So it isn't actually the blue plaques along here then, it looks like those um, like metal looking plaques because I can see another one down there. So I will probably try and do a better video like in the better weather and try and gain more information like I said it's I wasn't planning on filming anything today whilst in Bath I was just uh, coming for a visit of shops but instead so that's another one here I see daughter live Elizabeth eloped with Richard Grinsley Sheridan on the evening of 18th of March no, it's 1772 so yeah again I don't know who that is I will try to um, find out and put it in the video if I can but if you know, let me know in the comments as well. But yeah, as you can see, it's... I love the columns, see. That's what I do love about Bath. All the Georgian houses. But yeah, as you can see, lovely little gardens down there as well because I presume some of these are actually flats and not houses because some of them seem to have front doors at the bottom of the stairs instead of so this is the Royal Crescent Hotel and Spa at number 16 it is got scaffolding at the moment by the looks of it but yeah so this is the hotel so we'll have to come back another time hopefully when there's no scaffolding and then there's another plaque here Here lived Sir Isaac Pittman. I think that's 1813 to 1897. And that's it. Number 17. There's no door number, but I presume it's number 17 because 16 is the hotel. And 18's there. So yeah. So it's not actual blue plaques then. They've got they've got these little metal plaques. Which you need to go up near to read. Lovely little area. That one's got some. I'm not 
not sure what your sh uh, bit of shade or something on those windows. It looks a bit odd. Yeah, it looks a bit odd that one. I've got some plaque or something on that one. I'm not sure what that's set for. If you know, let me know in the comments. I can't see nothing on there, like a date or anything, so. Yeah, let me know. If you know. Do you know which uh, part of Bridgerton was filmed on this uh, crescent? That's a big house as well. That's a big one. That's the end. It's number 30. And this one's a big house too. Just like number one. Is a massive house. So that one's number thirty. And again, we're starting at the other end. So yeah. Let me know in the comments if you've been here as well. Been to this one. I said it's famous for Bridgerton. Like I said, personally, I haven't watched. But look at that crest on the lamppost. I do like these lampposts though. So much character. Yeah, so much ar architect. Oh, that one's got. Looks like little hedges. Yeah, I will come back on a better day. No, when it's uh, not raining. And if you notice as well, there's no telephone wires or anything. Yeah, there's no telephone wires, no satellite dishes, nothing like that, see? That's what makes it so unique, you see? It's just a shame the cars are in the way. <laughs> It would look like it was uh, out of a uh, movie and all, wasn't it? It would, like, uh, would like, uh, be like in the old times. But yeah, that's what makes it so special, see? 
as well for film and judging programs and films because there was no no telephone wires whatsoever so because of course they didn't have telephone wires in the Georgian times so of course it's going to look in place I've missed a plaque by the looks of it. I can see another one. And so it's above the door. So let's go take a look, shall we? Missed that one. I didn't see that one, probably because it's above the door. And I'm pit. Oh, look at that. A few flowers in the on the windowsill, daffodils and all. Is that crocuses? I'm not sure. No, no, don't look like crocuses. I'm not sure. So yeah, we've got plaque here, which I totally missed. So here lived Frederick Harrison. I think that's 1831 to 1923. So he's born here and died here by the looks of it. And that's at number 10. I didn't see that one. Oh, we've seen it now, haven't we? So I'm just walking you to back to the end so you can have a look at what it looks like. So yeah, you're there. See, this just looks out of place, that one. That's a different one, but does look out of place. I d uh, didn't see that before because we was reading the plaque. But yeah, so that's to, I would gather that's to stop the sun. And then you've got that one that's got little balcony things. I wouldn't know what you actually call them. Window balconies or what? I don't know. I'm not going to try. Yeah, and then it's number two again. Take you across the road so you can have a better look. Yeah, you can see how big it is. Just shame about that scaffolding, but if you have re reservations need doing, you need 
I've just noticed they've actually seem to have windows as well. They seem to have windows as well, even further up. As you can see. Yeah, they are massive houses then. I thought it was only three floors, but it's actually four by the looks of it. So, yeah. Here at number one in World Crescent. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.